Ada for refusing to invite my cousin to any more of my hangouts and telling my aunt and uncle that Claire making no effort is probably the real reason why she isn't making any friends. My aunt and uncle are down on their luck. They moved in with my grandparents and now my cousin Claire, 15YO, is going to the same school as me, 16YO. Claire does have some minor issues that could discourage potential friends, but they really don't matter compared to the fact that she doesn't talk to anyone. Claire immediately ends any conversation that other people try to have with her, and she's been like that for years. After moving, my aunt and uncle told me that Claire is scared that she's going to be bullied again like she was at her last school, and asked me to invite Claire to hang out with me and my friends. I did, and it went nowhere. Me and my friends tried to start conversations with Claire about herself, but she'd always just be like, sure, or I don't know. She didn't ask anyone else about themselves. She went on her phone and basically made no real effort back. I told my family about it, and my aunt and uncle asked me to give Claire another chance. Same story. Claire hung out with my friend group multiple times, and she hasn't shown any indication that she even wants to be there. School just started, and Claire is not being any different. According to a friend, Claire actually refused to participate in the class icebreaker and got called to the teacher's desk after class. He had to get to his other class and didn't see hear anything after that. My aunt and uncle came to me again and told me that Claire is upset because she can't seem to make friends and they asked if she could hang out with me and my friends again. This time I told them no. We don't click in the first place and honestly have no common interests. She can join a club or talk to people by herself. Think of what they would recommend if I wasn't at the same school and tell her to do that. This is where I was probably the asshole. I kept talking and said I get she's having a hard time and maybe won't let anyone in for fear of being bullied. But nobody wants to chase a person who gives no effort back into a conversation. And her acting this way is probably the real reason why she isn't making any friends. My aunt and uncle went off at me and they and my parents got into an argument over it. My aunt and uncle told me you're not going to have any contact with most of the people you hung out with in high school. But Claire will always be my cousin and I need to get over myself and help her. I'm expecting too much and that if I were bullied at my old school, I wouldn't suddenly feel safe at the new one and to have some patience and empathy. I felt I've already done enough in the patience and empathy department. Claire made no effort back and clearly no one can make friends for her. I see the last bit of what I said as a reality check, but my aunt and uncle have basically called it bullying and my parents didn't really take a stance on it. Aita, Nene 2908 said NTA. You have made an effort. Other people have made an effort. For whatever reason, she's not engaged with that and has sometimes actively pushed people away. You're not responsible for that. If her parents are so worried, then they need to find her some proper help or speak to the school themselves to see what support is available. They cannot force you or anyone else to be her friend. Recent Necessary 362 said, NTA, maybe if they actually tried being parents and talking to her or seeking our therapy, maybe just maybe she'd be showing improvement. But nope, they expect another child to handle their problems. Tell them to step up and be parents, it's not your department. Life of Lime said, NTA, the way you handled the conversation and feedback was very mature. A lot of people don't hear those things until it's too late and they're too old to put the effort forward to change their ways. Claire and her parents might be upset now, but she'll come to appreciate hearing what's causing her trouble making friends.